don't do it very often, but this is a special day, so we're gonna do it. Okay, so a bit of unfortunate news coming out of Disney today. It's at least at the time of filming this, Tuesday, May 10th. They had their earnings call and they announced during that call they will no longer be producing video games. So they're getting out of the video game market. Uh, this is going to affect, of course, consoles, handhelds, mobile devices, and most notably, and what was called out on the call is this, Disney Infinity. Uh, so unfortunately, that's going to affect a lot of people who are employed that are working to develop these different types of titles. Um, so best wishes to all of them. And I hope that uh, they'll be finding new places of employment soon. Um, but it also unfortunately means that we are seeing Disney get out of this space. So um, not to be confused, they will still license titles which basically means if you think about, if you're a gamer and you know Kingdom Hearts as an example, mixes in Disney characters. That's produced, developed by Square Enix, uh, but it is licensed by Disney. So you're still gonna see Disney do licensing deals. They're not gonna have their own publishing houses and things like that. And again, it's unfortunately because uh, there are some really good titles out there. Now, admittingly so, with Disney Infinity, when it first came out, version one, I wasn't a huge fan of it. Um, version two came out, I skipped it. Version three came out and I didn't pick it up uh, initially, but then when I did, I found myself enjoying it, at least from a single player story mode aspect, especially with these guys, the Star Wars and the Star Wars uh, universe uh, is a lot of fun. So it's unfortunate to see it go away. And I don't know what it means for these guys. Um, I would assume that at some point soon, we'll see these figures disappear off shelves. Um, some may be harder to come by than others. I don't know. Now, just judging by how many of these figures I see on store shelves today, it's probably not going to happen right away. Uh, but there's your word. If you're looking to pick up any of these, you might want to do it fairly soon before they start disappearing because... You don't want to pay a premium price for that. Um, talking about Disney, one of the other things, and I'll link to it down below, have a look at the two different YouTubers um, that have posted video clips from, I want to say it was the Disney Shanghai Park. There is one point of view ride from Tron. It's a light cycle ride at their Disney Park. It looks really fun, but more impressive to me was the Pirates of the Caribbean ride from Disney Shanghai. Mind-blowing. The effects, the immersion looks phenomenal. And I was really shocked, even watching this on YouTube, going, wow, that is really impressive. You're going to have to watch it for yourself. But it got me thinking, how come we don't see that technology to that level in the parks in California or in Florida. And correct me if I'm wrong, because I haven't been to the Florida park. Um, I go to the California park all the time because that's where I live. Uh, and so there's good technology with some of the rides. You think about the new Star Tours, it's pretty neat. Uh, of course, Cars Land and the Radiator Springs Racer is really outstanding. Um, but to that level, I'm not so sure it exists in the parks just yet. And I wonder why. Now, it can be argued that that will change when Star Wars Land opens up uh, in the California park. We'll have to wait and see. But um, let me know your thoughts down below um, as to why you see the technology seemingly being better in the other parks in Hong Kong or in Shanghai uh, than they are here. So it seems like it'd do really well if they brought that tech over here. I don't know. Anyways. Let's move on to Q&A. So Scott Smith asks, how's it going with the DJI Osmo? Seriously thinking of getting one. I absolutely love my Osmo. Um, I'm gonna have a review that will post 
later this week on it. So be on the lookout for that. Um, I have no regrets. I mean, if you think about the tech that is in this small, tiny package, you're basically getting a steady cam for about 500 or so, which is really outstanding considering just a few years back, there's no way you could touch a steady cam for under a few grand, and it was massive in size. So it does have its limitations. You need to be aware of that going into it. I'm not so sure I would use it as my A camera 100% of the time, but I have no regrets. And for what it is, it's phenomenal. Santiago Avila. I like the idea of logs, thank you. What kind of power bank do you use, if any? Well, I have so many power banks and I use all kinds of different ones depending upon if I'm gonna be gone for a longer period of time or not. But the one that I find that I carry with me most of the time, I'm gonna mess up the name, I'll link to it down below. I think it's called the Ula. It's the little white one. It's got an integrated lightning connector built in. It's certified through Apple's program and it works well. Mizuno2005 asks, loving the vlogs, thank you. Have you thought about doing a live Q&A? Yes, I have. And uh, once we start getting a little bit more traffic, I will consider doing that sooner than later. Okay, and finally, LER says, enjoying the vlogs, interesting comments about Nintendo and your fears on the NX. I still have faith they won't be another Sega, considering they dominate the handheld console market. And I agree with you, they absolutely dominate the handheld console market. I mean, you can really only compare it to what the PlayStation Vita, but still, even going back generations, I still have always enjoyed my Nintendo handhelds the most. And this generation is no different. So here's hoping Nintendo does something special this time around and they get it right. Of course, a big part of that's going to be the developer support uh, so we can have those software titles behind it. So with that being said, Nintendo also announced today or the Pokemon company, uh, the release date of Pokemon Sun and Moon, which is going to be November 18th of this year. Right before the holidays, that's going to push a lot of units out the door and it's going to be a big holiday seller for sure. Are you a Pokemon fan? Let me know in the comments down below or by giving the video a thumbs up. And if you are picking up the game, which one are you going to play first? Who's your starter going to be? I'm not sure about mine just yet. I'll let you know in a future video. That's it for this week. Thanks for watching. As always, if you like it, please consider giving it a thumbs up. If you have comments or questions that you want answered in the next week's of video, uh, then leave a comment down below. You can also hit me up on Twitter at Metagamers. And don't forget, if you're not a subscriber, please hit that subscribe button for even more content. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. This is my scout. He is a Chihuahua Terrier mix. He is a rescue, and we got him when he was a puppy.